terrible scene on the day Michael Jackson died was the focus today in the wrongful death trial of his concert promoter. CBS 2's Randy Page reports Jackson's mother wept as the singer's personal chef told of Jackson's devastated children when they realized their father was dead. Michael Jackson's personal chef, Kai Chase, seen here testifying in Dr. Conrad Murray's criminal trial in 2011, was called to the witness stand in a civil courtroom today by Katherine Jackson's attorneys. The jury was shown this photo of Chase taken while she was attending the Cordon Bleu Culinary School in Paris, a snapshot of Chase with her former boss, Wolfgang Puck, and this photo with President Obama taken when she catered a fundraising event in Los Angeles. She testified she began preparing meals for Michael Jackson and his three children in April of 2009. Mr. Jackson was very upbeat. He was very excited about what was to happen about the tour and about having his children see him perform in his comeback tour, Chase testified. Katherine Jackson was brought to tears as she listened to Chase recount the children's reaction when they ran upstairs and discovered their father's lifeless form in the upstairs bedroom on the day he died. Prince screamed, Daddy! Then Paris screamed, blood-curdling scream, Daddy. Just out of her mind, screaming, Daddy, Chase later testified. Everywhere, paramedics were running up and down the stairs. It was horrible, and I didn't know what else to do but hold on to those kids. They were devastated. The Jackson family chef was asked about the impact Michael Jackson's death has had on each of his children, referring to Paris without mentioning the now 15-year-old's recent suicide attempt, testified, being daddy's little girl, she was devastated, devastated and lost. It's just taking a lot of love and understanding to keep her together. AEG attorneys began questioning this witness late this afternoon, and they asked Kai Chase if she ever saw Michael Jackson drink alcohol, use pain medication, or appear to be high. She answered no. And when asked if she ever expressed concern about the confidence of Dr. Conrad Murray, she answered no. I thought he was a nice man. AEG will resume its questioning tomorrow. In downtown Los Angeles, Randy Page, CBS 2 News.